then the next big song was the ninja rap. Which, by the way, if you watch the new Ninja Turtles uh, animated film, they actually play it for a moment during one of the fight scenes. Did Chocolate write that too? <laughs> okay, so things are going crazy for you. And of course, there's the backlash of being white in hip hop. I get called a culture vulture. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I get called a culture vulture a thousand times a day. So I can relate to what you're going through. Not quite at the level you were at, of course, but at my own level with my millions of viewers a day, I get the same crap. So I, I, I can understand. I remember you won at the American Music Awards and you said, kiss my white butt. That's right. That's right. And then the next day, you had Arsenio Hall. That's right. You sat down with him. And I interviewed Arsenio Hall. What he told me, and I'm like, listen, you went pretty hard at, at Vanilla Ice. He goes, well, I wasn't trying to. I had wrong information because, <laughs> you know, <Bullshit. laughs> he said the bio, the bio your label had written was wrong. So, you know, you didn't go to high school with Luke. You were much younger than he was. Um, and he also said he was having a bad day and so forth. I'm not sure if I was poking fun at him as much, because to be totally honest with you, I wasn't feeling funny. Uh, I'd had a long, hard day, hmm. and um, I probably wasn't feeling like teasing anyone. I'd had some things go on in the research process with him, and I'd been misled with some information that was about to go out to my audience that night, some things that were untrue, some intentional lies, um, and I felt I was being used, and my audience trusts me. My audience knows that if I say it or if I'm dealing with something, I at least believe it or I'm trying to be an honest man. Um, and it started in the middle of the day when I was given this statistic about him winning a motocross competition or something and I found out it was untrue and then this was untrue and that was untrue. And it just was a confrontational day. So. I probably didn't deal with Vanilla Ice in the way that people are accustomed to me dealing with guests because I'm that warm and fuzzy guy. Yeah. But it wasn't a warm and fuzzy day. But when I watched it again, he was definitely shading you. Yeah, he was. You know, he said, He's uh, a hater. you know, so you're a white rapper being suppressed yeah. Yeah. and getting revenge. Isn't that racist? What if I went in there and reversed it and it was Jay Leno and said, so you're a black rapper and you're being, you see where I'm going with this? Yes. He, he came at me. Right. And his show got canceled right after that. You brought out Flavor Flav and he criticized that. Yeah, he didn't like that because mm -hmm. he thought, because Flav was actually, we were hanging all week. Flav I, and our I love Flav, man. The best. I love Flav. The greatest fucking legend ever, man. Um, he mentioned Karis one dissing you, saying that you presented a distorted, a distorted mutation of rap. Yeah, and now Karis one and I are friends. Right. They, he tried to say that you were beefing with MC Hammer, which you weren't. You know, it's a lot of propaganda. It's like, you know, when they do that Trump thing and everybody get on the Trump hater wagon. You've seen it. It happens. People have hating hatred for no reason. Why? Uh, because I've told to. Because that person does it. Because everybody's the trend. And that's what happens when you're the number one selling hip hop artist of all time. Whether you're white or black, they're going to come at you. Yes. The fact that you're white and you're doing it, they're going to come at you even more. It makes it worse. But good God, look at all the publicity and entertainment created by it. Because all this is is entertainment. Yeah. People I mean, take things so serious. Like, look at you. You're just <laughs> wanting to research and dissect and stuff. And you create uh, a fan base because of your curiosity that might see the, your same curiosity levels and want to know these things, mm -hmm. right? And it's so funny how that you can cater to people who, you know, appreciate what you're doing. And yeah. that's all you're doing and that's all I'm doing. But yes. isn't it just entertainment? It is all entertainment. It's all spoken well, So mirrors. you really don't take everything so serious. This is all entertainment. Right. And people were really taking a lot of shots at you. SNL did a whole skit yeah. where Chris Rock said, I, I call Vanilla Ice Elvis because I wish he was dead. And then Kevin Bacon came out and yeah. played you. I love it. Bro, listen. Not you just guys Kevin look a little bit How about my greatest way? of all time yeah. when Jim Carrey came out and flipped the shoe on Living Color? <laughs> I, I forgot about I that. I was like, bro, these people know who I am. These are yeah. A-list celebrities. I'm a kid. I was coming. I came up, right? I had already been three years on the Stop the Violence tour. Mm. No. I knew everybody in like, you know, NWA. I said, there's Easy e coming down the hallway. Look out. They got guns. Don't say anything. Then they walk by. Hi. I, I used to think they were real gangsters and shit, you know? 
but it was really weird. But yeah, I've seen it all, man. And it's a crazy story how everything has some sort of detail to it. Yeah. It's all just entertainment. Sit back and enjoy it. How deep do you want to go for something that happened 30 years ago? Let's keep continue on, bro. Let's friend. do it. I'm just amazed that anybody gives a shit. Well, <laughs> there's something that happened 30 years ago. Don't we have enough shit on the planet today to talk about today? Going back 30 years.